First thing you want to do is connect your motor to the power source. All the cables are color coded, so you just want to match the colors. White to white, black to black, and green to green. Once you have power to the motor, you're going to hear an audible beep. Now we're ready to program the remote. You have to remove the battery cover by sliding it down. Note there's usually a clear film in between the battery. We already went ahead and removed it. To program the remote, there's a P2 button. You have to press this button twice, followed by the up arrow all within five seconds. Let's go ahead and do it. Note you will hear the audible beeps five times, confirming that the motor is programmed. In this video, we'll cover how to create a backup remote. This is done by cloning the signal. The way that we do that, you have the original remote, you remove the back battery cover. And on the new remote, you do the same and remove the film from the battery. On the original remote, press P2 twice, followed by P2 once on the new remote. This all has to be done within five seconds. The audible beeps confirm the, the cloning, successful cloning. So this is the new remote operating the motor. And the original remote still works as well.